where he was supposedly closely guarded, which worries the authorities. For here, he took his own life, as did his lifelong hero, Hitler. Floral tributes outside are another sign that there are still sympathizers for the Nazi views Hess held until the very end. There's no doubt, for instance, where their sympathies lie. And there is growing concern that his suicide could become a symbol to rally together those who feel Germany was unjustly treated and denied its rightful place in the world by the Allies. The police are handling everything with great care. When they decided that the flag of the German Democratic Republic was really inappropriate as a background for tributes to Hess, they gently removed it and then replaced the flowers on the pavement. But another show of bravado like this with Nazi salutes proved too much for the police. And before long, he and some of his friends were arrested and taken away. In another cautious move, the authorities today put up barriers outside the prison while questions are being asked about security inside. And how an old man of 93, guarded by half a battalion of troops and warders, could have the opportunity to take his own life and leave a suicide note in his trouser pocket during an afternoon stroll in the prison garden. Tonight, those questions remain unanswered, and until they are, the threat of growing support for the neo-Nazis remains. Desmond Hamill, News at 10, West Berlin. ...from West Berlin under military escort. The autopsy is complete, but the controversy over his death far from over. An RAF Hercules was used to fly the body to West Germany, accompanied by officials from the four powers in Berlin. Just before midday, the plane touched down at an American army airfield in Bavaria, and it was there that the handover took place to the Hess family. They're now keeping the location of the body secret. The fear is it'll attract neo-Nazi demonstrations. It's also a fear felt in Hesse's hometown of Wundsiedl, in a remote corner of Bavaria, not far from the Czechoslovak border. The Hess family traced their roots here back to the 17th century. But the most tangible signs of their presence are the home Hess was brought up in, and in the cemetery, the Hess family plot. Already wreaths have been laid, and a few sympathizers have started to gather. The funeral arrangements haven't yet been announced, but the mayor of the town has warned he doesn't want Wundsiedl turned into what he calls a mecca for people who haven't learned from the past. That may not be possible to avoid. Especially with the allegations made by Hesse's son, Wolf. On German television, he said he doubted his father had committed suicide, as stated in the autopsy. Clearly, this chapter of history is still far from closed.